prolific goal scorer Rafik Thomas killed in his bed, ladies and gentlemen, in Jamaica. Greetings in the name of the Most High. Emperor Eilis Selassie I, the first Empress to in the balance. Ladies and gentlemen, you know which one to drop down Thanks for tuning in to the Rastaman channel. Subscribe and follow on TikTok, Deep Roots TV. Build up the Rastaman panel. As news comes out of Jamaica, a prolific goal scorer, Rafik Thomas, was killed in his bed, ladies and gentlemen, on Monday evening. A popular footballer, Rafik Thomas, was in a jubilant mode as he severed a taste of Boys Town Football Club win over Jamaica Defense Force in KSAFA Super League finally the previous day. Shortly after the game, Thomas, a talented forward, and his mother, Lucinda Dunkley, share a home-cooked meal of rice and peas and ackee. It turned out to be his last. The 39-year-old was gunned down at his home on Water Street in Denham Town early yesterday morning. Another man was shot and seriously injured in the attack, according to the reports from the West Kingston Police. Explosions were heard coming from the premises on Water Street about 4.40 a.m. The police were alerted. Upon the lawman arrival, an injured man was discovered on the lower level of the house while the body of the footballer was found laying in bed with what appeared to be a gunshot wound. The injured man was taken to the hospital and Thomas' body was removed to the morgue for postmortem. In the aftermath of the gun attack, shock, angry, and grief surreal in the air near the late footballer resident, Dunkley was overcome with emotion. She held on to her stomach and wail. Me want me boy. Uno call me for me and tell him that him walk. And me want him to talk. Me want to see him. Me want me son. She wail. Jesus Christ. Them take away me picnic from me. God Almighty. Me want me picnic. Thomas' sister Peter Gay said she's immediately being began to pray after she heard that her brother's house was attacked. The last time and last thing she expressed is to hear was that someone was hurt. The gunman got in the house through a window. The one that got injured was fighting out with his life. Now, it seems that the reason why he did not die is that he pretended like he was dead. You can see how everything turned upside down, downstairs. But upstairs, where my brother's room was, you can see, say, no fight, no guard. He was killed in bed. It looked like he felt, felt when he got the shot and he was feeling pain. You know like when you suffer something or stuff it in your mouth to fight the pain that's how the pillow had a lot of blood on it she said peter gay said that her older brother was not involved with any wrongdoing and was just a victim of the system my brother was soft-spoken and only time him keep up long conversation was about football to me, he was just a victim of a failed system. Now this violence have flared up in the space, but it's not deliberate. I was in, I was intentional. It was intentional, excuse me. So now I'm thinking that if I never in a, him never in a house, him could have come out and them would not kill him. My brother work at Petrodram and on weekends he would jerk chicken but his entire life was about football. Him hung up the boats because him get in a eat. But football was his passion, she said. Rafik, now fight war. And him, now the no corner. Him just dead, sir. 
We don't have anybody in our family where a fight war or in a mix up. She went on and said, you know, where's the justice? Where does where did this come from? She added, Thomas, a prolific goal scorer, played the nation's top fleet football league, Boystown Waterhouse, Tivoli Gardens, and Harborview Football Club. Ladies and gentlemen, another, another, another tragedy, another situation where you have a youth where you strive to be better, to do better in the country. And he been wiped out. But again, enough of them always say. Them family member not involved in nothing. But sometimes you can't catch quack up. You catch in shot. You got to look in the crowd. Because the person that quang him was in the crowd of that game against, you know, the JDF. It's a sad situation again that Rafiq Thomas' life was taken, snuffed out another mother ball another family distraught another community shaken another community on the edge ladies and gentlemen it's another tragedy that we're reporting a mother a parent have to bury them pick me and uh, anytime a parent have to bury them pick me it's a true tragedy r.i.p rafiq thomas Water Street in Denham Town. The people are on edge because they're unsure if anyone's going to return. But again, like Cartel will say, some muddy huffy ball, some muddy huffy bleed. Imagine that's the philosophy in our society. Eye for an eye. Many people going to be walking around with one eye. Leave your comment on this one, ladies and gentlemen, if you think that Rafiq Thomas was an innocent bystander or he was part of some syndicate, ballers, chicken jerkers, yeah, shot callers. That's what they call them whenever one of them get quen. It appears Jamaica afraid of them. May tell you if you bring in the death penalty because the person will kill off this Ayotia, I go get where with it. Even if you give 20 years, more likely it's a young youth. Subscribe, leave your comment. Why Jamaicans quick to shoot? More life and more joy. Subscribe to the Rastaman channel. Listen to my cousin Yasso. Because she's going to tell you what you do. You're going to big up yourself. Big up people, Steve.